Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm gonna I'm gonna be turning the one minute strategy into a five minute strategy. Um, you guys have been uh, commenting on that video telling me to kind of um, you know take it up a time frame or two. Um, I did have a look at the 15 minute. I don't think it's as good on the 15 minute but i haven't tested it i haven't tested it on the five minute either that's something that you're gonna have to do yourself so just before we kind of get into the video i wanted to say that um you know i haven't tested this i don't know if it's gonna work um and i haven't actually looked at the charts i've literally just loaded the charts up now um currently on the one minute and what i'll do is i'll switch it over we'll go into the five minute and i'll go through the strategy um if it's your first time here hit the subscribe button, um, do streams every single weekday. Uh, we do a 9 a.m. stream and we do a 1 p.m. stream. Um, so in total, we do about five or six hours worth of streaming every single day where you guys can ask me any question you want. I will try and answer it as good as I can. Um, yeah, if you like this video, hit the like button. Uh, you might as well, it's super easy to do. So yeah, let's get into the video. Currently on the one minute, let's switch to the five minute. Um, right, so if you haven't watched the one minute strategy, I highly advise you to go and do that. Um, it's gonna give you a lot of kind of uh, perspective around what I'm looking for. I'm not gonna be going into as much detail as I did in the one minute strategy, but I will still be going over the general things, okay? Let's get into it. Right, so what am I looking for? So on the one minute strategy, we have two uh time frames that we trade right we trade in new york which is this little blue section here and then we also trade in london which is this section here okay now when you're trading this in the one minute each one of these little barred um sections on the chart is one hour okay now as you can see if we just scroll down a little bit that's not a lot of price to work with when you're on the five minute chart. So we're gonna have to switch this up a little bit, okay? So what I'm gonna do is instead of saying you trade London and you trade New York, all I'm gonna say is you combine both of them and you trade both in one, okay? So you're taking trades anywhere in this time frame here from 9 a.m. till 4 p.m. UK time this is this is all UK time okay anywhere in between that so you're not trading only in London and New York okay so let's go on to what I'm looking for in terms of price what I'm looking for if we're going for a long opportunity is this setup here okay where we have a higher high okay that didn't higher high and we also have a lower low okay and then what we need to do is break this higher high if we're looking for a buy um now i'll get on to um what did what uh, gives us the criteria to look for a buy and what gives us the criteria to look for a sell but first i want to just give you this and just say when we're looking for a buy we need a higher high we need to break this higher high and then what we need to do is come back down into this higher high and touch it. The touch is key. Yeah, the the actual candle has to touch um, the candle body of that higher high. Okay. So we've touched. Now what? Don't just buy here. If you're buying here, you're probably going to lose a lot of trades. Okay. The next thing that we need to wait for is one candle in the direction that we're trying to go. In this instance, it's a buy. So we're looking for a bullish candle, okay? It needs to be a decently sized candle. When I mean decently sized, look at the rest of the candles. If this candle body is a decently sized candle in terms of, in comparison to all the others, that's good. Typically, um, anything above two pips on GU is good on the, on the one minute. I don't know what's going to be good on this because I haven't tested it. I'm literally doing this right now. Um, so uh, yeah, we wait for a candle in the direction that we want to take. You would then enter when this candle closes 
Um, stop loss would go down here somewhere and take profit is 3x of the stop loss. I will go into detail about this in a second. Um, but I just want to give you the basic overall um, strategy first. And the sell side, as you can imagine, all it is, is we're looking for the opposite. So we have a move down, pull back, push down, pull up into that. And then we're seeing a move down again. Okay. So this is the lower low. We've then got a higher low or a lower high. Sorry. Um, and then we come down, we break this lower low, come back in one candle in our direction, then the entry. Okay. So... How do we determine if we're looking for buys or we're looking for sells? In this area, so let me come up here. In this area, in between these two time frames, let's say price is doing this, okay? So it's doing this, it's been trending up. This is in hindsight, obviously. Um, and the EMA is doing this. We'd be looking for buys, okay? If we are above, it's literally as simple as this. If we're above the EMA, which I'll go into a second, what EMA we're using. If we're above the EMA, we're looking for longs. Okay, it's as simple as that. If we're below, we're looking for shorts. Okay. So the EMA is a 70 EMA. So... Just type in to indicators EMA, set it to 70, and there you go. If we're above it, take longs. If we're below it, take shorts. So let's go back down here. Um, this is literally today. Um, obviously, yeah, not trading anymore, but um, this is today's price action. As you can see, we are above the um, 70 EMA for the majority of the time period that we're trading which again, if you missed it, was 9 a.m. until 4 p.m., okay? Anywhere in between, yeah, anywhere in between these uh, times, okay? So we have some moves coming up here. We also have a move down. Doesn't matter that we went below, okay? We came back up and we didn't break this high, okay? This doesn't mean that we're starting to look for sales because we're still above the EMA. We then break this high here, this higher high. We've broken it with this move here. Now, if I just zoom in and um, give you guys a little bit of a better angle to see this. Um, we have this move here. We have a pullback. We have a push up, another pullback inside of here, then a push up. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is draw from the body of this candle so the body that made the higher high draw a line going across okay when we break that like we broke here this would have been a valid setup if we broke and came back but we didn't so we broke we came back we touched this line so we broke it on this candle we came all the way up we touched it here so now we are waiting for a bullish candle, okay? Because if you remember, um, we need that touch and then we need one candle, only one candle to go in our direction for the entry. I don't know if this is profitable or not. Um, possibly not. But if you look down here, hopefully you can see that. This is candle size, okay? Now... It's a super nice indicator to calculate the size of the candle. You don't need it, but to calculate the stop loss size, so we've got our entry. To calculate the stop loss size, um, this candle here is 7.4 pips. I'm just going to say it's 7 pips. So then all I'm doing is doubling it and saying that our stop loss is 14 pips. Simple as that, okay? Whatever this entry candle is, double it and that's your stop loss. Um, your take profit is just three times your stop loss. Let's go three times. There we go. And then all we're going to do is drag this out. Did we win? No, we didn't. Um, and we would have won if this hadn't attacked us out. That's interesting. Um, but yeah, that's basically the setup that you're looking for, okay? So I hope that you got some notes on that. 
Um, I will go over some more examples in a second, but just make sure that you are taking notes. Um, if you are looking for a higher time frame uh, strategy instead of the one minute, the five minute can be good. We do have a few people that are trading it the same way that I trade the one minute. They have been having success. I'm not going to say it, it works because I don't know. I haven't tested it. But let's see if we can find another setup. Um, let's go on to a different day. Let's see if we can find one. Okay, we have one here. There's two here. Okay. So, um, this is a short opportunity. We have the move down. We have a pull back up. Okay. We then, you can either take it from this one, or you could take it from the smaller one inside of here. Depending on your... Um, risk tolerance and how many trades you want to be taking you can do either okay you can either go from the major ones or the minor ones that's your choice i go from both in the one minute um, but maybe you want to just go from the majors okay <clears throat> so in terms of let's just go from the majors because it's a um, a simpler concept right i mean we can do both but i'll do the main one first so draw your little line out. Okay, we break it. We we break it here, but we don't get a retest. Um, we do get the retest here, but it goes way too far back up. Okay, this isn't going to be an entry for me, even if this candle, as it did, closes bearish. Okay, so we break it. We come back up. We then have a good candle down. Entry would be here. So let me um, just put that on there for you. Entry would be here. Uh, this candle is 15 pips. So your stop loss is going to be 30 pips. Okay. 30 pips. Then your take profit is obviously three times whatever your stop loss is. And just drag that out. Okay. So again loser and i'm sure there's a lot of people that are clicking off this video now um because we've had two losers in a row the people that have stayed either they've seen the one minute strategy and seen the results that we've got with that or they're traders that have um they know they understand that trading you have losses and a strategy that has two losses in a row is not a bad strategy at all um Okay, so two losses in a row. That is a setup. There's also another setup. The other setup is in here. So let me just draw that for you. Now it is very, very close, but we do touch. We get a close down. Entry would be here. Stop loss is 10 pips. And then take profit is 30 pips. So you could have taken either of these, okay? You could have taken either of these depending on your risk tolerance and what you would like to trade, okay? Um, now, let's go back up for another trade. Now, this is obviously one of those situations where you might want to take it, you might want not want to take it. I personally would not take this if this was under one minute, but you guys might, so I'll talk about it. Um, we have a, I'll get rid of these just to make it a little bit easier. Um, we have a, a higher high or a lower high here. We break it. We come back down for the touch. We then get a positive candle. The reason why I'm not taking it on this candle is because it's got a huge wick and there's not really any room on the top. It's not a very... Whenever I look at my um, entry candles, I look at the body, okay? Not the full candle. I look at the body, only the body. The body needs to be a good size, um, like this one. So your entry would be here. Your stop loss is 22 pips. Okay. Target is 3 to 1. Done. Okay. There you go. Um, there's also a setup here. So as you can see, we have a higher high. 
we come back down, we come back up, we retest into this level, and then we get a downwards candle. But hopefully you've been paying attention. We are not below the EMA. Therefore, we are not looking for sells. So we would not be taking this. Now I know there's going to be some traders thinking, well, it was profitable, so why don't you do this or this or this? It's irrelevant, right? The only thing that I'm doing is I'm sticking to these rules because I know these rules work. They work because I've tested them on the one minute. You can test them on the on the five minute and see whether they work or not. They might not work on the five minute, but I know for certain that they work on the one minute and that's why I'm doing it. Again, we have another short in here. Hopefully you're starting to see these setups now. Um, right, I'm not going to go any further back because um, I've shown you like five, six examples maybe, I don't know. But yeah, if you have any questions about this, drop them in the comments below. I will get back to every single comment. Um, and hopefully I can add value to you guys. Uh, if you want any of the videos, any of the video ideas, let me know as well. I'm happy to do them. Um, and yeah, hopefully you have a good day. And remember traders that... Um, happy traders, happy trading, okay? Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and I will see you in the next video.